Hey everyone, today I'm sharing some real talk about working in the home organizing field. When I first started out, I learned so much the hard way and by trial and error. I created my training and coaching program so it's easier for others because this business can be a bit intense. I'm doing a series on the behind the scenes of working in this industry and you can check out that entire playlist here. So today I am sharing the top three things I wish I knew before starting out as a professional organizer. And hopefully your path will be a little smoother than mine. First up, let's talk about the sheer volume of possessions in people's homes. Growing up in a family that never threw anything away, I thought I knew what I was getting into, but the reality of consumerism hit me like a ton of bricks. We're talking hundreds of bins of seasonal decorations and thousands of toys and more shoes than I could count. Did you know that the average American family has around 300,000 thousand items in their home. That is mind blowing. I love doing puzzles, but a 300,000 piece puzzle is really intense. What I learned quickly is that organizing isn't just about moving things around. You have to have a strategy and you have to prioritize the order in which you will organize a home. You need time to plan and consult when meeting a client for the first time. Incorporating that planning time into my first appointment became a game changer for me. And focusing on a few categories of things during an organizing session will keep you and your client from getting overwhelmed and you will actually see progress in a shorter period of time. Next, I would say I had to develop some business skills. I do not really enjoy the accounting side of business and the administrative task of running your own business, but I'm glad I figured out a solid sales strategy so I'm not scrambling to find clients every week. That was really stressful in the beginning. I've seen many talented organizers leave this field because they struggle with the business side of things. Treating home organizing as a business, not a hobby, I think is crucial for long-term success. I'm glad I did get into business planning early on and then revisited those plans to you know, ditch what wasn't working. It's all about finding that sweet spot where your passion meets practical business sense. When I find myself overcomplicating things, I have to take a step back and maybe cut something out or think of you know a way to do something simpler. This is the reason I don't sell packages. It just adds to my administrative task without bringing in more income. I wish I'd understood the importance of maintenance clients sooner. Initially, I thought organizing was a kind of one and done deal, but the reality is that many of our clients have chronic organizational challenges. Learning about the factors that contribute to chronic disorganization, like those listed on the ICD website, helped me better serve my clients. While we can't cure the underlying issues, we can make those spaces safer and more functional. It's more about setting realistic expectations and being okay with providing ongoing support. I know a lot of organizers get frustrated when they see clients unable to maintain order in their homes. And it's certainly okay to stop working with a client if their self-sabotaging self efforts become unbearable to you. But I would take the time to understand the vast array of conditions that contribute to chronic disorganization. That has helped me a lot over the years, you know, meet my clients where they are and not take their struggles personally, but just provide support and resources. Whether you're just starting out or looking to grow your organizing business, I hope these insights will help you navigate those things a little bit more smoothly. Remember, it's all about planning, navigating the business side of things, and understanding the deeper needs of our clients. If you're considering a career in professional organizing, please reach out with your questions and uh, be sure to get on my email list to be notified of upcoming workshops, training courses, and Q&A sessions. Check out my recent videos here and here on the rewarding but challenging career of professional organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.